Okay, welcome to Dallas, Texas. Yes, we are in Dallas, Texas. Thanks to Sightmark for bringing us out over here. They have a huge range. It's about mile, two miles long. We are right where we're standing right now. It's a mile spot. It's, uh, the targets are over here. Big targets. You guys have probably already seen me shoot the target. Hopefully it was a good shoot. We haven't done it yet. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to do is to see how much a bullet loses power, especially a sniper round from a mile away. I want to see how much of a penetration uh, it does. And then uh, we brought these uh, hardy backers. I've used these before. They're a pretty good target. We've had about like 10, 12 of them lined up. Uh, Brandon, can you give me a... Uh, side view on this one we're gonna shoot them 10 feet away and then uh, stretch it to one mile and see how much a bullet a sniper round will penetrate the main idea is to see how much it obviously it loses power we'll shoot this and then we also have the steel plate over here it's not super thick so we'll shoot this see if we'll penetrate that uh, we do have a body armor level 3a not rated for rifle rounds but then that's also going to be in a video shoot it see what happens to that and of course the regular steel targets okay we're gonna get back thanks again to site mark there'll be a link in the description for them check them out we really appreciate them bringing us out over here helping us out make these uh, videos happen and uh, yeah that's it let's get back to one mile looks good Pretty sure it was a hit. You think so? No, that wasn't a good shot. Okay, let's check our hardy backer. But what happens to the bag? Oh, awesome. They didn't go through. So here's one. One. Two. Two. The holes are getting larger. Three. Three. So we can see the first bullet is right over here. Fourth one. Four. There's a jacket. Right there. Some more lead. Brandon, give me a zoom in on this one. So on the fifth one, they stopped. Right there. one kind of helped a little bit to absorb some of that energy seventh one took a punch <laughs> wow almost all the way through nice punch right over there but yeah so between five to seven did the job and it stopped i'm gonna get towards the back nothing much happened so now what we're gonna do is uh, aim 10 feet away and hit it again at the same area on the right side, see how far back they'll get. We'll see if that distance at one mile will make a difference in penetration. Okay, you guys are ready for a super scientific video? I'm Kevin ready. Is like, I've never seen this done before in military. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, well, we didn't do much science in the Marine Corps. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was Air Force stuff. Taking yeah. notes because yeah. there's gonna be a quiz at the end, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's shoot it on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Seven, eight took to stop, and then we're gonna shoot a couple of rounds right over here. Where's the rifle? Okay, here we go. Do you think you'll hit it this time? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> okay. Fire in the hole. Oh, it came out. We'll do one more. Well, wait, I don't know. Maybe it was a dust from the middle. Another round. Oh, no, I see the hole. It came out. Fire in the hole. We are clear on this. I saw it. I'm seeing the hole from the back. Yep. All 10 of them. <laughs> and this is why it's a science channel because you guys wouldn't have known that. And thanks to us for showing it at Sightmark, 
helping us out with this project. Now you know what happens at one mile. You will lose power with that bullet. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot that steel plate. It's about a quarter inch thick. A bullet like this from a, a rifle should go through it. So we'll just hit it at 100 yards and then we'll go back to a mile. Brandon, you ready? I'm ready. Man, I miss Jasper, he's not here. He used to answer these ones. <laughs> Happy birthday to Jasperito. I gave him a day off. And let's shoot this thing. Yeah, where does it go? Okay, fire and all. Fire and all. It's hitting, right? Oh yeah, right okay. through. <laughs> you won't believe my shots. <laughs> at 100 yards. I wasn't even aiming properly. My hand was all over the place. Look at the grouping on this. <laughs> They're right next to each other. So that uh, scope was sighted in for one mile out. I was just kind of like calculating it in my head, the drop. And they're right next to each other and they both came out. They hit right over here, right there. Oh, that's a big impact. Yeah, it is. Big old gouge in there. From 100 yards, that's what you get. Here's the exit on the back. Brandon, get this one to here. So we did hit the target. So now we're gonna stretch it to one mile out. Let's go see what happens. You see how professional I am, Brandon? I use the words, I think. All right, here we go again. Shooter ready. Butter up. That's a pretty good, big scope. You know what they say about big scopes? They're made in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Side mark, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> All right. They got one more. All right, spotter, shooter ready, spotter up. <laughs> That's it for me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a I'm look. a shooter, not a spotter. <laughs> Uh, Edwin, I'm going to have you take over and I'm going to spot. Okay. Yeah, I think your eyes used to seeing that and ours are not, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the excuse we're going with All today. Right. <laughs> okay, you're ready. I knew that's right. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys how this is done. You want something done right, you bring out the experts. Right, Kevin? <laughs> the expert spotter? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Shooter ready. Spotter up. I didn't see that one. What I want you to do is... Um, Go to the line just underneath the two. Shooter ready. Spotter up. That one looked like it was just off to the left. Okay. Oh yeah. So uh, he didn't that penetrate thing. right there. That thing hammers, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, let's see the back on this one over here because that's the steel plate on, uh, behind it. So you see how these ones were so smooth coming out on these two right over here. That was at 100 yards. Now check out. It tried to come out, so it was ripping the steel as it was uh, trying to come out, and then that's where it hit right over there. It didn't do anything to the back steel, which is like half an inch or something. But that was on the 100 yard. Look at the difference right there. Brandon, maybe come out and then zoom it in so it can focus even better. So you have about a half an inch crater on the secondary steel, but on the right side, there's nothing. So a lot of uh, power loss right over there too. 
Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Some on the bottom. I was like all over the place. But not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you, Master Kevin. Taught us something new. So now I'm practically a sniper. I'm qualified. Just one day training, one hour. That's all you need. <laughs> and thanks to Sidemark for making that happen. If it wasn't for them, these shots wouldn't be possible. No other scope can do this. Sidemark only. Right, Evan? That's right. <laughs> We're gonna see if a rifle round, a sniper round, in this case we're using a 6.5 PRC. We're gonna hit a level 3A. I wanna see if you're a mile out, how much power does a bullet lose? Can it actually penetrate or will it not penetrate if it can stop it or not? Level 3A is rated for pistol rounds up to 44 Magnum, jacketed hollow point. Obviously not rated for a rifle round like this at the close uh, range, but let's just say you're a mile out. I wanna see if it can stop it. Okay, we'll get back out there, mile out, and uh, shoot it. No, that wasn't a good shot. Oh, wait, I'm feeling the bullet. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come out. It punched it, but I feel the bullet, guys. We're gonna rip this apart in a little bit. But before we do that, we're gonna take the shot at 10 feet away to see what happens. Poor Bob. Adios, amigo. Okay, fire in a hole. Oh yeah, I did go through. <laughs> but I'm a little bit lower on this one. I'm gonna come back and hit it one more time a little bit higher, but let's see what happened. Uh, no. I would strap the side straps. Yeah, I would strap it. Yep, right there. It came out. Again, that uh, mile makes a huge difference. It came in through the first wall and went out in the second panel. But from a mile away, they all stopped right over here. Can you tell I've opened enough of these? <laughs> so uh, nothing came out here. Right there. There's the bullet. Wow, a rifle round at level 3A, one mile out, stops. Who would have thought? Of course, we thought about it. And that's why we are what, Brandon? The Science Channel. Science Channel. Okay, that's it for that. Those are the results. At one mile, sniper rounds do change their power. They get weak, and that's something we don't want. And um, Thanks again to Sightmark for making this all happen so that you guys can learn something super scientific. There will be a link in the description, sightmark.com. Check them out if you are looking for a high quality optic for a very reasonable price. We really appreciate them for this beautiful range that they have over here. I can't believe all the places we went. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Let's get out of here.